What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today <laughs> I met an awesome guy who um, got a hold of me, he said, uh, I have some, some walks uh, that I'd like to give you, and uh, you know, just meet up and um, for lunch there, so we met up at a pub for lunch, and then uh, he took me over to his shop, uh, he has a warehouse here in, in my area, which is pretty cool, because He's the first uh, lock picker I've actually met. <laughs> and um, so uh, we went over to his warehouse where he's got a bunch of equipment, a lot of nice stuff, key cutters and uh, just a bunch of nice stuff, guys. And uh, yeah, he started giving me stuff. And uh, man, I am so lucky. <laughs> I don't know how I keep getting so lucky, but uh, my luck is your guys' luck, guys, because these are going to filter down through the community and become challenge locks, um, just like the last ones. But I'm probably going to find a different way of giving them out. Um, I'm not sure. I'm probably not going to give them out myself. I'll probably try to get a hold of some of the other channels, like uh, Pick Me and Bobby Keys and Trekmaster and those guys, to see if uh, they want to give them out to their subscribers. Um, so... I'll, I'll uh, be messaging you guys, and, uh, you know, I can give them out in, in bulk amounts, so I can, you know, like 12 to 20 each, or depending on who wants to do it. Uh, there's 77 here altogether, and I'll probably keep like five or something like that, um, but the rest can go out to other channels who can give them out to their subscribers. So, sooner or later, they will filter their way through the community and become challenge logs, which is just awesome i think and which was what they were intended for um also i was given uh a bunch of more tea cylinders so we got seven more tea cylinders that are fully functional they just need to be picked open and uh keys worked out for them if you want keys there uh can be worked out or i can just uh pin up challenge locks one of the two um i also have uh, 11 more tea cylinders here that don't have the tail pieces on them but tail pieces are easy enough to work out. You can just uh, grind out the slot and drill a couple holes on a penny or something like that, and now you have a tail piece. These are not going to be installed in a door, so all it's got to do is retain the core. Um, so there's like 11 of those, and that one's a sergeant. There's another sergeant. There's a Corbin, Russwin. Um, so a bunch of different, uh, mostly sergeant and, and Corbin. Um, also... He gave me a couple of Nabob. These are multi-lock clones, and uh, they are pin and pin. And apparently the tolerances aren't as good as regular multi-lock, but, um, you know, still a lot of fun. And uh, he gave me some multi-lock pins. So there's the uh, inner pins and outer pins are in there. And uh, he also gave me some drivers for multi-lock. And some springs, so I can uh, pin up this kick cylinder that he gave me. Uh, I think it's a Nabob. It might be a Yardini, but uh, either way, it's an aftermarket, um, aftermarket multi-lock pin and pin. And then he also gave me this smaller uh, four-pin kick cylinder. It's actually it'd be eight-pin because they're pin and pin. But I didn't even know they came in this format. I thought they were all you know five pin and pins, but no, this one has four pin and pins. And apparently it takes a regular multi-lock key too, which is pretty cool. So I could pin that up as well. Um, as well as these, if I ever get them open, I could probably cheat and take the Bibles off, but the cap off the Bible, but that's not fun. Um, also, gave me a bunch of springs, which is awesome because, you, as you well know, uh, springs are one of the harder things to get. Um, you usually only get a surplus of springs if you have locks that are totally damaged that you can pull apart and get the springs out of. Otherwise, you're just shifting springs around in locks and you never really have a surplus of them. Now I do. That is awesome. There's probably like a hundred in there. That's badass. Um, he also gave me some uh, lab pins. These are uh, 165s. And, uh, which is cool because I don't have any pins that are brand new that I actually know the size of and now I do <laughs> so I can actually start a little kit which I probably will um, what else a bunch of uh, Corbin uh, LFIC cores so this one uh, is actually still needs to be picked open 
and uh, you know rebid and stuff like that. Uh, this one has been picked open. Nope, that one hasn't either. This one has been picked open and uh, gutted. So um, there's probably like a good half dozen of those, which is awesome. Uh, awesome to play with. Hopefully I can uh, figure those out, how they work and stuff like that, play with them. Uh, there is two of them here in vacuum sealed bag with all the parts and everything ready to go as well. So I'll have to find some keys and see if I can uh, pin these up, which would be pretty awesome. Um, what else? Some uh, Medeco M3s. No keys, of course. These are LFIC, and if I can ever get them out of there, I can uh, take them apart and maybe get them repinned or uh, something like that. Send them out to somebody who can, or uh, maybe just send them out to guys who feel like picking a Medeco M3, uh, if you can. <laughs> also, a... Another LFIC, uh, no name, LFIC, looks like a Schlag type, well, maybe not Schlag, almost looks like a Schlag, but anyway, um, yeah, so if that can come out, that can be uh, repinned or uh, played with. Also, uh, some key charts, so we have um, Medico uh, S and L, a Master and American key charts here, we have a Sergeant key chart, which is pretty damn cool. So I don't have any of these yet. Now I have now I have two of them, or three of them. This is a uh, key pin gauge for multi-lock. So you can see the different sizes of the inner and outer pins. So that's pretty damn cool. Even the master pins as well. Um, and a bunch of multi-lock cards uh, with, you know, some with keys, some without. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, not going to show all of them, but... Uh, there's probably half a dozen multi-lock cards. And uh, also this multi-lock padlock that he wants me to try to open for him. And um, I'm going to try my best. Uh, as you know, I always say it. I'm not very good at dimple locks, but if I can get into this thing, I will. And then uh, he can have it back and repin it. And Bob will be my uncle. Anyway, guys. Um, also, a tub of pre-cuts so there's a bunch of pre-cut keys in here uh, all different types some multi-locks too um, just a bunch of pre-cuts so yeah uh, thanks a lot man um, I know <laughs> I said it <laughs> when you gave them to me but I'll say it again thanks a lot man really appreciate it you're awesome uh, a lot of this stuff is going to filter down into the community for sure uh, and hopefully those kicks sooner than later I uh, just need to get a hold of uh, some other channels and see if they want to uh, give them out to their subscribers. So, just kind of uh, spread the wealth. And I don't want to be the only one giving stuff away all the time. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, thank you, man, for giving me all this stuff. Um, really, honestly, um, just so awesome. And, uh, you know, I appreciate it. And I'm sure the rest of the community appreciates it, too. So I'm going to get to uh, start picking these open and maybe trying to work out keys for them. <laughs> All right, guys. Later.